guys, it is Erin or Gimme Yarn 418 and welcome to Thank God It's Finished or TGIF. I have some great hair going on here, I'm noticing, but it's a lazy Sunday um, PJ day, staying in my PJs. Um, but I wanted to make a video, the first video of the year, and um, show you what I've been working on. And what have I finished? Let's start with finishes. Well, I had mentioned in my goal video that I finished the two quilts I was working on. I'm not going to stand up and show it all, but um, I will insert a picture of Mia on this blanket. I did finish the rainbow quilt. Um, it's bound and, and backed and quilted. I backed it in flannel, which is really nice. This is more of like a lap quilt. I'm going to have to pick up Dewey because he's about to freak out. Uh, just a, a jelly roll race quilt with some two and a half by two and a half inch squares um, between the strips. So that was fun. And I also finished the Icicle Kisses, that was the line of fabric, quilts that Lorna bound for me. And, uh, not bound, she quilted for me, and I did get that bound. That one's huge. What did I finish next? Next I made two sweaters for the dogs. I made one for Mia and one for Dewey. Um, Mia's was a size small, and Dewey's was between a small and a medium. And I'm going to insert a picture of the two of them wearing those here. I knit those out of, um sport weight yarn from the sheep farm down the road. I'm just going to show you Dewey's because he's in my lap. This is Dewey's. Um, I'm very happy with how it came out. Say hello Dewey. Hello Dewey. Um, like I said, Dewey's, I originally was making the blue one for Dewey, but it was just a smidge too tight. Don't Dewey. Um, so I gave that one to Mia because Mia's more slender. And uh, I made an in-between size one for Dewey. What else have I finished? Oh, for Kristen, I think I showed this in my last video. I knit her the regular gar guy beanie. This is just out of, uh, I love this yarn, fan. I love this yarn, fan pride, in the blue-gray color. Dewey just leapt across my lap. Here. I'm going to try and keep him quiet, but I, I really can't make any promises. We're all feeling a lot better here, but I'm tired. I don't know why I'm so tired. Oh, Max was, uh, Max was, I'm going off on a tangent, so just bear with me. Max was neutered on Monday, and sleep has been a luxury in this house that we have not really been privy to. So, what else have I finished? I made a couple of these little dancers. I made one in green and one in pink. I think they're really cute. I've made them before. This is my favorite one in blue. One in a darker, almost hot pink. Sorry, I'm trying to keep Dewey happy also. And then I made this one in a light purple made those uh, Friday and Saturday between projects and then last night I whipped up this little guy he's just out of some scraps I think he's absolutely adorable I named him Roar I'm a scary dinosaur Roar, Roar. so I think he's really cute as a free pattern on Ravelry as always the links will be in my uh, project page on Ravelry I also finished one other thing that is an absolute colossal fail. If you remember, I was knitting the, it's a puzzle socks. The yarn is Spinning Fates Pula Sock. The color is, it's a puzzle. The pattern is Cafe Latte, I think. <coughs> well, I finished, Dewey, shut up. Sorry, please be quiet. <laughs> I finished two socks. However, Come here, dude. Come on. I finished two socks, however. Um, they match up really great. 
Except for one thing. I started the heel on the second sock. Four, four stripes too soon. So now that I've shown you this, I am going to rip, stop, the taller sock out to um, this blue stripe here. Hang on a second. I'm going to rip it out to this blue stripe here and knit the foot again. Fun times. I have to tell you, I was so excited these were done. I put them on the sock blockers and I nearly cried. But I wanted to show you because I am so far from perfect. It's not even funny. What am I working on? Well, <clears throat> I started, oh, that glare is terrible. The Brush Creek Cowl, not cowl shawl to pay for a pattern on Ravelry um, and I am knitting it out of the well like I wanted to try it I'm using the color beige what color is this sage and I think this is chocolate and chocolate and it's gonna go like this and I'm only in the first section, but I really like this yarn. Considering that I paid less than $2 a skein for this, I really like this yarn. This is how much I have. Uh, it's so soft. I was afraid it wouldn't feel as nice when I was knitting it, but it feels just, just as nice as it does in the skein. So stay tuned. This is going to be a longer term project. But I'm enjoying that. I've been casting on everything. What else am I knitting on? I started a sweater last night. We had a fire last night and it seemed like it took forever for it to go out. Go ahead, Dewey. So I restarted a sweater. I had ripped out because I had decided I was going to steak it. Then I decided. Nope, I'm not going to speak it. I'm going to knit it flat and just try and enjoy the purling. And it's the um, sheep sweater. It's called the Shepherdess. It's a pay for pattern on Ravelry. This is not on my project page yet, so I'll try and get this up. I'm knitting this out of Cascade 220 that I just, I had knit another sweater in it and it didn't work out, so I ripped it out. This is how much I have. This will be a long term project also. The sheep are going to be out of um, Knit Picks Wool of the Andes. So, that was very relaxing last night, surprisingly. And just a few minutes ago, I decided that I needed to cast on something else. So, I cast on part of my printer Miss Gelato, the giraffe. And I'm going to knit her out of TLC Essentials. And this color is Falling Leaves. And literally I'm on row four. You can barely see her. I think she'll look really nice in these colors though. <clears throat> so that one will probably be a little bit quicker of a knit. And last but not least, do you know what this is? Um, if you saw my goal video, you might. It is the Sparkly Blanket of Awesomeness pulled out of hibernation and I have more of it done than I thought. I would say I'm about a third of the way done. Um, and I was weaving in the ends on, on fairly regular intervals. So while I haven't crocheted on this yet since I brought it down from the studio, I will be soon. Um, soonly. I figure if it's sitting next to me every once in a while I'll pick it up and do a row or two or if I'm trying to decide what to do next I can knit a row or two. Whoops, there goes my hook. Don't want to lose that. So that's what I have <coughs> in progress. I finished spinning the singles. Where's the bag? Of some spun right round. Polworth Polworth Tassa Silk um, in the rewind colorway. 
and then I had some more wheel trouble which I'm not going to get into because I'm extremely frustrated um, so here it is uh, it's not extremely consistent because I it took me a while to get back into my groove I had spun half of this before my wheel um, went in for repair and I it's it, I had actually spun over half of it so this is gonna rest for a day and um, hopefully I can get my wheel situation straightened out and ply that I'm gonna Navajo ply that and next I was gonna spin this today is from Bobby sweet comfort designs I don't know if she's dying right now um, in the Northern Lights colorway she gifted this, I want to say she gifted this to me last, last Christmas, but I didn't, I didn't have time. I think my wheel, um, went away shortly after that. So this is what I'm going to spin next. This is BFL. So I'm looking forward to that. I think that's all I have for now. I have... Nothing else I can think of to say. I hope you are all doing great. And until next time, we'll talk to you later.